looted numerous stores earlier this week. CBS 2's Mugo Digwe joins us live with a look at that CPD website that just launched. Mugo. Yeah, if you walk through the loop, you'll still see signs of the chaos that took place here Sunday night into Monday morning. There's still numerous stores that are boarded up and police are working to find those behind the damage. Take a look at this. This is the website and this is what it looks like. It's got video showing a crowd of people breaking into a Nordstrom rack. There are also additional clips at the bottom of the page, including video of a group of guys breaking into an ATM. CPD says it now has a looting task force made up of detectives who are combing through hours of video showing images of suspected looters. We've showed you similar surveillance videos. Take this one, for example, of people breaking into the sunglass hut on the Magnificent Mile. One man breaks the glass door and immediately starts tossing items into a shopping bag. There's also this video from a camera on Jefferson. It shows a group of people trying to break into a 7-Eleven early Monday morning. Now, police are hoping that someone recognizes some of those people in those videos and helps them identify that person and helps them arrest them. They also plan to continue to update that website, adding more videos and images. We're live in the loop. Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.